In this Figma tutorial, let's talk about creating new layers. Layers in Figma are different than some of the other programs you might be used to, like Photoshop and Illustrator. It's a little bit more similar to Illustrator, but even Illustrator can have just blank, empty layers. In Figma, you have a layers panel here on the left-hand side. Now, inside of this layers panel, it shows every object in your document. So I have a frame out here. This frame is essentially a layer. I could also create, maybe we'll grab the rectangle tool. The shortcut key for that is R and we'll just create a little rectangle out here. So I can create this rectangle and you'll see it created a new rectangle layer. Now these layers, actually it's, I guess it's a little bit more like Photoshop, honestly. So every object out here becomes a layer. So in Photoshop, this would be like a shape layer. That's what this rectangle layer is. Now you can have groups of layers or like a frame could be almost like this little artboard canvas that you're creating on. So if this rectangle was actually inside the frame, you would notice that over here, it moves that rectangle into this frame and the frame is almost like a group of everything inside of it. So if we pressed T for the type tool and we put some text out here, that text, since we uh, created it inside of that frame, is actually in that frame. So you can see here in the frame, we can drop that up or toggle it up or toggle it down and we can see everything inside that frame. So to create a new blank layer similar to a frame or like an artboard, we would create a new frame. F is a shortcut key for that. We would click and drag out here and create another frame. And you'll see here, it's almost like a layer. So frame two is a layer here in Figma. Now we could have text, we could create new text, we could hold Option or Alt, click and drag some text to this frame, and you'll see how this is building up over here. And if something is not inside of a frame, so let's duplicate this text outside of the frame, we'll let go. You can see that we have our two frames, and then we have this text layer out here, which is just an object. In fact, I said it's like Illustrator, said it's like Photoshop. It's almost like a blend of Illustrator and Photoshop because you have these objects that are out here that kind of live on their own, but then they are also their own little layers in here. And if you had multiple objects, let's say we had this text out here and we had an arrow pointing to the text, we could click and drag over the top of both of those, right click, and then group that selection. And you'll see that this group is a layer and we can toggle that down and see everything inside of that group. So to create new layers, you don't just create a new blank layer necessarily that encompasses a bunch of objects. You just create things out here in your document and they become layers. So a blank space to work would be like creating a frame out here and you can put objects inside of that frame and work with the frame and then that frame becomes a layer and any object becomes its own layer and you can click and drag these around. That's how layers work here in Figma and that's how to create new layers here in Figma with your different tools and options.